watching it right now. But just got back from Lake Fork, caught another share lunker. Really pumped about that, excited. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, I'm a big, huge night fisherman. And by the way, I've got two new episodes coming of the two new episodes coming of the uh, boat build. Uh, I did some. Uh, let's see. I, I changed out three parts, and I've added another thing to it. Huge night fisherman. I'm excited about this. I've got the hydraulic steering coming in. It's going to be a great deal. Well, let's get to the truck cab chronicles right now. Going down the road, going to get some truck parts. So if the outside sound is bothering you, I'm going to do a little bit better. Speak louder. So sorry about that. But you got to have the rumble in the truck, baby. I mean, I want people to know the GG is coming. But what I want to talk about today is I went to Lake Fork, like I said, had a great weekend. Night fishing is my thing. I love night fishing. I, I would rather night fish 24 hours a day, I mean, any 365 days a year, I'll go night fishing. Night fishing is not just a summertime thing. Matter of fact, I think it's an all the time thing. Um, but one of the things that I have noticed over the last uh, few years, of night fishing where I've really heavily night fished all the time doesn't matter how cold it is doesn't matter um, you know it doesn't matter you know the temperature outside doesn't matter water temperature one thing I'm noticing is night fishing has changed back in the, the, the day when I would fish when I was younger I'd say in the 18 to 25 range when you went night fishing you predominantly used a couple different lures, you know, two or three different lures. Mostly it was uh, a big black spinner bait with a, you know, number five Colorado blade, something like that, a lot of thump. Um, used a, you know, a 10 inch or 10 inch power worm or something like that, maybe a jig. That was what you used. That was your night thing. Uh, and then the chatter bait came along and I used that a lot, uh, really effectively at night. Um, and, and caught a lot of fish doing it. But nowadays, it doesn't seem like, you know, I'll catch an occasional fish on a black spinner bait, uh, but the, the worms, they don't seem to produce for me anymore. Really, the black spinner bait doesn't produce. Uh, there was a time when you would just go down the bank, uh, you know, fish would pull up in shallow water and eat bait fish and shad, and they found a wind blown back. It doesn't seem to work for me anymore. I try that. I try those areas. I try those flats and uh, you know things like that. Creek, I just don't get the bites like I used to. That's not saying it doesn't work anymore. It just doesn't seem to work for me. Now, granted, I tend to target my fish more where I used to fish blindly and random. Um, but it, even then, I caught more fish just going down the bank. Those fish do not seem to be in those areas anymore. Um, let's just say I'm fishing a light on a dock. I will go between two light docks and fish a black spinner bait the whole way. Never get a bite. Um, and I don't know if that's because... The green lights have become a very, you know, prominent thing on the lake. That's a big deal now. Matter of fact, some of the lakes have hundreds of them. And I don't know if the fish don't just congregate in the areas of the green lights now. Or uh, has, has fishing really changed that much where those fish just don't visit those other areas? Uh, me, personally, I think the bait congregate in those areas and I think that the bass have pretty much got smart to it and said screw it you know we're not going to go to a random bank although there may be some shad there it's easier for us to see them it's easier for us to find them we have things to hide behind um, you know you got your dock pylons and, or, and dock posts whatever you want to call them there's brush piles so I have learned that you know I don't venture as much away from the docks as I used to. Secondly, I think the fish stay in these areas more. I, I don't know if the fish leave the areas 
of the dock. And I'm not saying they stay under the dock all day, but they don't venture as far. You know, they, they may pull off the dock when the daytime gets there, or they may not, but it seems like they always stay in the areas of the docks. And the crazy thing is, even though that's a, a, a something that happens, you know, around the docks, the black spinnerbait and the worms still don't produce for me the same way. That thump, um, I have to go to um, different type baits, A rigs at night, um, you know, uh, throwing big swim baits at night, even tiny swim baits at night. I even throw the ball head, like ball head minnow type things at night, and they produce. But black spinner baits and worms just do not do it for me every now and then. I'll catch the occasional fish on the black spinner bait, but it doesn't seem like that that works anymore. Um, one of my favorite lures is the 316. Uh, it's a five inch shad uh, line through. It's got a big tail, thumps a lot. I talk about it in my other video. Because of that thump, that's what I tend to throw at night now instead of throwing spinner bait. Matter of fact, on this last trip, I did not have a spinner bait tied on. I, I didn't. I never tied on a black spinner bait, which is very strange for me, but I've just got to the point I'm almost giving up on that bite. I tried to uh, have that bite, try to remember those memories of it because it was so much fun. You would reel through there, and boy, they just stop it. I mean, just stop it. Or you'd be reeling, feeling the thump, and then that thump would just go flatline, and you know he is right there, and boom, and he'd get it. But it doesn't happen anymore. So what do you guys think? Do you feel like the fish are changing, uh, changing locations? Are they changing uh, because of the lights? Are they changing because of, uh, you know, I still catch as many fish at night as I've always caught. That really hasn't changed. I love night fishing more than anything. Um, if I never fished in the daytime again, it would never bother me. Not one time. I would never get bothered. I will not. I, I don't care if I ever fish in the daytime again. I do it because sometimes you got to. It's the only time you go fishing, but I, I'd rather fish at night. So, is, is it changing because of the baits? Is it changing because, like, they're getting used to spinner baits and worms? Or is it changing because of the lights? Or is it just changing because the behavior of the fish are changing? What is changing? You guys tell me in the comments below. I want to hear this. I want to know what your opinion is as to why this is happening and why the change is happening. Um, and I want to say this, because the changes are happening, sometimes the fishing gets very, very hard. You go hours without getting bites, but then when that window turns on, you're allowed to catch 10 in one small area. So, but also because it is that time, I want to tell you a little bit about something. And I'm going to add this little section to the video. Um, I'm going to add this little section to the video. At the end, we're going to take a look at a product. As you know, I'm not a huge crappie guy. I love, I'm not a long polar. Uh, one of my good friends who came over to Lake Fork, um, he he's a long polar. You know, 16 footers. He loves to chase them. And, and that is fun to him. That's not my style. I love to cast it. But I love to cast it, crappie. I love to cast it, even the white bass. They're fun. And use the baits and throw it. Um, you know, I had some rods, and they were okay. We tried them out, you know, when I when I was doing the thing with the, uh, the rod company. And we could never, it was just a little too short. And so, I've kind of got this new rod. Uh, my buddy Matt at Three Pound Fishing come up with a new rod. And we're going to highlight it in the video right after this. I'm going to take a look at this. So it's really good. I want you to stay around and look at this. It's a rod that can do a little bit of both. It's a two-piece rod, which I love. It comes with a case, which, which is cool because I can throw it in my rod box, leave it alone. I don't have to worry about it getting broke. It gets down to the bottom. It's, it's eight foot long, but I'm going to tell you something. It's the perfect all-around crappie rod for me. You know, I always have it. If I see some white uh, crappie, I catch some crappie. If I don't ever, I don't have to load my rods up. I take one rod and I'm done. It's perfect. You do a little long polling, good for me. Pitch out the bait or, you, you know, vertical fishing. Or you can cast like I like. So I got a little bit of both 
and I really, really love this ride. But it's perfect for me because when I go to Lake Fort and I get over there and there's some crappie under the dock, so I'm going to get some of that crappie and I'm going to cut the head off a couple of them. I like to do that. It's fun. But it's not my thing that, uh, you know, I'm not a straight-up crappie. I'm a bass guy. But I love this ride, and it allowed me to get rid of all the other 10 or 12. I don't have to have a bunch of rods. I just need one. You know, I just need one rod, some 20-pound, 15-pound braid on that bad boy, cast to it, have a little fun, catch what I want. I can also do a little bit of vertical fishing. So let's take a look at it in the video right now. And the reason I'm telling you this is I want you to stay put because at the very end, I've got a little special treat for you because once I found out that I love the rods, I bought another one. And since I bought another one, somebody might get one. But you'll have to watch this last little part of the video right now. All right, guys. So as I kind of talked about uh, earlier, I want to talk about a rod now. I like the rod, so I called back and got another rod from him. Um, this, so this one is actually brand new. Comes with a case it's called the King's Tail. It's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. It's eight foot long. For guys like me uh, that don't particularly just chase crappie, but want to have a crappie rod in there for, for just like I did this weekend. We got on Lake Fork and they were loaded up in one area able to go in there and it kind of gives me the best of both worlds an eight footer uh it actually says medium action with a fast hip you can vertical fish with it it's got long enough you can get out away from the boat but then you can also do some casting with it it is pretty pretty legit it's pretty legit um uh it's a good rod um i do know matt personally and i'm gonna tell you what he makes good products three pound fish and he's a professional crappie angler but uh <laughs> I bought another one just for you guys uh, because I liked it so much and I want to do something for the crappy guys uh, and I want to uh, I want to do something that um, you know brings some attention to the crappie side so I got so many crappy fans now I do ask you to do this um, I bought the rod personally to give to y'all to thank y'all for doing this but let's I want to help Matt out I want you guys to get on there and Go to three pound fishing. Uh, can you see? Yeah, three pound fishing. Go to three pound fishing and check out. He's got several other rods. He's got some longer rods and things like that. Um, you know, the, for the crappie guys that like those longer 12 foot boards, he's got those rods. He's got those where you can add sections in. It's pretty, he's got a lot of nifty stuff. He's worked really hard on those rods. I've talked to him personally. When I called him, I wanted to know uh, about this rod more because this is kind of the one that fit my style I, i'm not i got like i said i got right over here i got a some 12 footer and i got a 10 footer i ain't carrying that mess in the boat with me i'm a bass guy but this right here i can throw this down in the rod locker and have it with me at all times carry a box of crappie anglers but it's also perfect for casting like i love to cast road runners and things like that and i'm pretty good at shooting the dock honestly which surprisingly but i'm pretty bad at it uh, but go check him out. But here's the deal. I need this video. I want this video. If this video gets to 2,000 views, anybody that's commented on this video, three pound fishing is eligible to win. I need 2,000. So you're going to have to spread. We're going to have to share the video. You know, we won't even aim that high. Let's go 1,000. If the video reaches 1,000, if the video reaches 1,000, and you've commented three pound fishing and said that you went and visited the site. So I want you to put three pound visit, three pound fishing, legitimately go visit the site and check it out. Let's, let's do that. Let's be nice to people. Let's help people out. Go visit the site, check out his stuff. If you have bought a rod or if you've bought baits, hey, throw that in the comment section also. Let me know what you think about them and things like that. But comment three pound fishing and tell me that you visited his website uh, it's just threepoundfishing.com, I think. Yep, yep, three pound. It's actually threepoundfishing.com. Go tell them it comes with a case. If this video gets to a thousand, which most all videos do, that we put out here, I'm gonna give this out to anybody that's commented three pound fishing and said they visited the site. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna ship it out to you. Comes with a nice case. Um, 
It's a great rod. It's a great rod for what I like to do, but it'd also be a good rod for the guys who like to cast and things like that. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Three pound fishing. Yeah. It's, it's pretty legit. It's pretty legit. Mine's in the box over there. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell and visit threepoundfishing.com. Let's help my man out. Let's do this. Maybe one day he'll give me some rods, you know what I'm saying? Instead of me having to buy all the rods. Thanks for watching, guys.